So today we're at the Rockwell Hotel for, of course, another episode of the Hustle Never Sleeps, the Queen's Edition. You've seen over the past couple of weeks, I've chatted to women who truly inspire me. And today, of course, is no different. I'm sitting with a third of what is a YouTube sensation, oh I have to say. <laughs> it's called Pub Culture. It's a bit sad that the other two can join us today. But you know what? It's okay. We feel you in spirit. And of course, Nobisa, you're more than enough. Thank We're going to chat to her about... <laughs> pursuing her journey and pushing what she thinks is her passions and hopefully it'll inspire you as well. Ravisa, welcome. Thank you, thank you. So good to see you again. Okay, right? Because we actually sort of, kind of work together. Kind of, <laughs> yes. So, Novisa and I basically know one another yeah. from UCT Radio, Campus Radio from back in the day. But we were never... <clears throat> We, we were in contact, but not in yeah, contact. Yeah, We'd true. like pass one another yeah, occasionally. Yeah. But Especially on, on, what's it, at the station? Yes, yeah. of course, at the radio station. And one thing I, say, I think from a distance that I always admired about you is that you had this centripetal force. You just drew people to you because of your contagious laugh. <laughs> I'm sure you know that. <laughs> I know everyone says that. Yes. <laughs> and also like your energizing persona not even persona your aura that mm. you put out there like mm. it was incredible to just witness from a distance i don't know if i've ever told you that before no that's what i'm like mm. <laughs> <laughs> but i want to know do you take this energy of yours and throw it into pop culture something that you believed in and wanted to see manifest how did um, that all begin for you well i think for me i like my twitter strap line tag bio whatever yeah. says um i'm an entertainer at heart mm. um i'd always i wanted to do drama i wanted to be an actress i wanted to be a singer um there was nothing that i thrived off of um then standing on a stage and performing my characters were always dramatic yeah um and getting <laughs> and i think i love just making people laugh yeah so whenever i was young and i was in plays and things like that mm. i think that kind of passion was ignited but as the years went on it kind of fell to the wayside um is more because life no man because my mom <laughs> well my mom was like um entertainment or acting singing is really a hard career to pursue For sure. um and it's not anything that's necessarily defined in terms of this is how you can make your money mm. the the business side of things is not necessarily put out there not at all. it's very much like you see it on the on the surface and it's like our oh, singers make money and that's it mm. so i just took a short lift into marketing and then that just became my life. But I felt a bit incomplete. Yeah. Um, and I think even when I was still at UCT and I joined UCT Radio, that was just me really trying to find my my entertainment side again. Yeah. Um, because in varsity and at of High School, I kind of had let that, that side of me go. Mm. So come... How sad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but then come, you know, come pop culture and then my working life, mm. it then... I think for like about a year or so, I just felt like I was falling into the routine of mm. working. And so I'm waking up, go to work, I go home, I cook, I eat, I sleep. And yeah. it was that cycle and weekends, I have a good time with friends. And Back to Monday, yeah, again, doing the same yeah. thing. Yeah. So, you know, when you sit back and you're just like, what exactly am I doing with my life? Mm. Um, you look at your 20s when you were in high school and yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be the superstar. Or <laughs> I'm going to be this manager Do you remember company. that? <laughs> Thinking when you were 15, at 23, I'm going to be married, <laughs> going to have the best job. <laughs> What and then lies? you look at now, you're like, <clears throat> I'm 25 and um, nothing's happening yet. Yeah. Um, so I had that mid midlife crisis. Yeah. Um, Quarter life when, crisis. <laughs> yes. And when yeah. I thought about it, I was just like, there surely has to be something else that I'm doing with my life that mm. isn't just going to work every day. And I long for being in radio again. Okay. I really do. But like, I haven't, had, <laughs> I haven't had the courage to get back into it again. Yeah. So I was like, okay, what else am I going to do? And so creating a YouTube channel was always one of the things I really wanted to do. Especially because I wanted to have a channel where I was going to do covers because I love singing. And you then, sing? No, I'm not. She's going to sing later. She's going to sing later. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I met Tembi um, mm. in varsity through a mutual friend. Um, and then about a year, a year or so ago, I approached her wanting to do a podcast because yeah. I really loved her um, her fresh opinions on popular culture and how she was always on top of like current things before everybody talks about it mm. um and all the conversations myself and her always had were always it was juicy yeah you know and um our personalities are very big and yeah. so that conversation is always dramatic and mm. it's like oh my god this and that and, picturing, oh, and everything <laughs> and picturing yourself body. in that yeah. life you know so 
then from there, um, we, she introduced me to Wong Egg and they went to high school together. And so, we, you know, because she was new in Cape Town, she arrived, I think, the year before last year. Okay. Or last year. And um, we were sitting at dinner and was just talking about our interests, you know, just friends hanging out. Mm. And the YouTube thing came up and it was like creating and it was like, okay, let's do maybe this. try to do it. Yeah. Um, then what would we talk about? Popular culture, this, that, and the third. And then, yeah, it came, it came to this whole thing where we were like we're gonna do this popular culture thing yeah. but it's definitely changed over time it hasn't like stayed, stayed the, the same, same. Mm. yeah and, and off camera we were chatting a bit about you didn't necessarily have a target audience mm. in mind this is what i'm gonna do mm. it developed into something over mm. the past year i would mm. say since pop culture started so for the people who don't really know what pop culture is and who the other roles what the other ladies do mm. um, part of pop culture. Can you just explain a bit about that? Cool. Um, so myself and Tembi, well, all of us own pop culture. I think mm -hmm. one of the most frustrating things is when people think that it's just Tembi and I. Yeah. Um, it's really not. There's three, three individuals of working <laughs> over time. Yeah. Um, so the three of us are conceptualized mm -hmm. creators behind everything. And then in front of the camera, it's myself and Tembi. Mm -hmm. And then our videographer, editor, director, everything is Bongeka. Bongeka, um, cool. And so Bongeka's background is in um, media and videography and nice. in, you know that that space. Tembi's drama directing, and then myself, it's marketing. Mm. Um, and so that's a really nice yeah, combination. Yeah. It's well rounded, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's what we we when we came together, we kind of felt like we were a force, mm. and that it kind of works well together yeah, as a team. Sure. Um, and and we often say to each other that the. The things that one other person won't think about, there'll always be another person who will. Mm. Um, and so Pop Culture basically is a YouTube channel that addresses social issues, whether it's positive or negative, yeah. um, whether it's funny or not funny. Hilarious. Um, <laughs> but our, because our personalities are who we yeah. are, we often deliver even serious issues in, in a very dramatic way. But it's in, an, mm. it's, in, it's in an entertaining way, but in a way that makes the conversation easier to to talk through. Of course. Because um, there's a lot of things that we've addressed. So whether it's um, LGBTQIA issues, mm. those are not comfortable issues to talk about. Yeah. Racism, it's not a comfortable issue to talk about. Mm. But we're existing in spaces where we're interacting with these people every single day. Yeah. We can't ignore the people that we face or the issues that we face on social media every day. Yeah. Then let's talk about it. We don't have to always be serious. Yeah. So Tammy and I always just find a way to just be, and my personality is overly dramatic sometimes so the humor <laughs> will come sometimes. out <laughs> so the humor will come out through that yeah. and um, I think that's what people like about it is that mm. a lot of our comments will be that was so funny but yeah. we learned so but much real. in the conversation yeah. yeah and I could connect with that yeah. because you know it was thought provoking mm. or I can relate or and that's I think the strength in the work that we do and as the team For sure. how we've kind of made sure to make an effort of making content that people can relate to yeah and that's why the target market thing was not like it has to be thing. yeah it's yeah. young people yeah in so, general yeah and the thing that i love about your channel is that it's so relevant you talk about voting you talk about first times you talk about taxis public transport that we all freaking <laughs> struggle with but it's delivered in the most entertaining way mm. that comic relief is there so mm. it's like okay it's yeah. fine we can chat yeah. about this yeah. yeah and i think it's just one of those things where we don't want to paint I think our biggest thing we don't want to paint a picture as though we YouTubers mm. and then you'll see us going to events and are the perceived thing of or maybe they're making a lot of money or yeah. they're starting to make money I'm still waking up every morning to get on a train <laughs> I sit in third yeah. class um, <clears throat> I come to work and I'm not a manager. Mm. Um, I have to face work challenges, mm. my own personal things that I have to go through with yeah. family, with friends. And so we want every kind of interaction we have in our videos with people or mm. with the, the messages that we deliver on, on screen is we are all individuals at the end of the day and we like the lavish things in life, but the realities are we may not necessarily be there. Yeah, or and not so, there yet. Yes, yes. Yeah. So even when we did the episode in a taxi, mm. it was like... It just makes sense mm. and it's fun and we've all interacted in taxis, taxis, taxis before so yes. I related why to not bring so it to life well. <laughs> <laughs> the sliding door operator exactly that was my <laughs> see my dramatic nature came out yeah. in that episode i love um, it <laughs> yeah so just quickly nobisa to end off if somebody else is also wanting to push their passion maybe in the same position as you as having a nine to five but really actually wanting to pursue something else what would mm. you say to them well, I think it's to take your time. Um, mm. A lot of the time, people feel pressure to want to create or do things because they see their peers are doing stuff. I think take your time. It's not always. It's not always a. a um, you should never feel pressured. 
Mm. And I think there's a time and place for everything and mm. your moment may not be now, yeah. it could be tomorrow. Mm. So it's appreciating, I think, your ability to do something and understand what you have to offer. Because mm. um, when, you, when you have that ability to know what you have to offer, it doesn't matter whether you're starting it now or starting it later. later. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that because for me, it's mm. like, I have to trust in patience and believe in my dopeness mm. or whatever. Mm. And things will work out. Pretty much. This is Good Hope FM. Turn the radios up. Connecting Cape Town. Cool. Thanks for watching another episode of The Hustle Never Sleeps, the Queen's edition. And of course, <laughs> today we had another queen. Now, if you want to catch more of her stuff, she'll tell you about it in a second. But before you go ahead and do that, remember to catch previous episodes of The Hustle Never Sleeps over here and subscribe to our channel right down here. Um, same thing with ours. I think everybody on YouTube, just if you're watching, support where you can. Mm -hmm. um, so click all the things that need to be clicked. Subscribe, mm -hmm. like, comment, share. Um, just support each other's content. And I think we're all working hard to represent you and ourselves. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>